It's been so bitter, bitter cold here the last few days, and I have definitely been experiencing some chicken guilt. This is our first winter with chickens, and I find myself just staring out the window and feeling so bad that they're out there in these freezing cold temperatures. There's no electricity at the coop, and so there's no supplemental heat, and I feel so bad especially because our indoor critters are living in the lap of luxury in our warm, cozy home. Now, I knew all along that this would be something we'd have to face in winter, and we knew that, that we would not do supplemental heat. So I'm trying my best to take the very best care of them and make sure that even on these cold days, they're living their you know best, most healthy chicken lives. So the temperatures have been getting down to... Um, two degrees three degrees at night but with the wind chill it feels like negative 11 so we've been going out several times a day um, to freshen up their water give them some treats and just keep up with their health and make sure everybody's doing okay you can see tulip here is standing on one foot she's kind of alternating feet um, just to keep both from getting cold I guess um, everybody's feet seem to be healthy so far I've been going out with some high protein treats because I, I read that that's good in these cold, cold days. So we've got some dried mealworms and some dried soldier fly larva. And um, multiple times a day, I just kind of shake that around in addition to their crumbled uh, feed that they, that they usually eat. And they all come out and kind of gobble that up. So that seems to really be getting them through. Even our little silkies that are about 17 weeks now, they're doing fine. They seem to really be handling the cold well. They've all been spending much more time in the coop than usual, um, and who can blame them? But um, they, for the most part, everybody comes out and kind of takes their turns with getting food and drinks. Violet's in there laying an egg right now, so I'll uh, sprinkle a few little treats in there for her just in case she doesn't feel like coming out but I've noticed that the silky chicks um, will come out and spend you know an hour or more at a time outside so I guess they don't mind as much so I refilled this water three hours ago and you can see it's totally pretty much frozen now these rubber bowls have been great because we don't have power out of the coop and so I can't, you know, put any kind of water heater um, out there. So over in this little area of the coop um, that they don't go in right now because of the snow, I just um, dump the old, the, the old ice and it pops out pretty easily. And then I can, can refill it and get him some fresh water. And we do that about every um, three hours or so. And, you know, even though it's freezing in between times, I, you know, make plenty of noise when I come out to the coop and give them treats and encourage them to hear me and to want to come out. And at least those times they can get a drink. So it gives them several opportunities a day, you know, to get a nice, good, fresh drink, even if it's freezing in between. I made sure to keep some fresh pine shavings here where they come out of the coop that leads to their water and then um, over here to their food. That way, even though there's not a lot of snow or ice right there, um, if the ground's, you know, if the ground is frozen and cold, they don't have to get their feet so cold. We did experience some frostbite. So this is Marigold, our buff Orpington. Um, the first really, really frigid day, she spent almost the whole day outside and I couldn't understand why she was choosing to just hang out on the ground out in the run all day when she could be in the draft free warmer coop. But she was and yesterday uh, was day two. She spent more time in the coop, but I did notice in the afternoon she was hanging out outside again and it was still you know, bitter cold like nine degrees and when I came out and looked she did have some frostbite on her comb and she definitely had the worst of it so there you can see some discoloration it actually looks much better now um, I didn't take a video yesterday because it was just kind of like I wanted to deal with it and not record it um, but it just felt like a frozen piece of meat and it was kind of white and a little purple and black on the tips so I came out and with each of them I put Vaseline on their combs yesterday afternoon I didn't want it to get worse during the night. 
there you can see Violet has kind of a white band where she got some frostbite also. So time will tell how they heal from that. Um, but in hindsight, I wish I would have done Vaseline as a preventative measure and I will definitely do that next time. So Rosie is the only one who's not faring very well. Um, she is molting. We've never gone through a molt before and she looks pretty terrible and sickly. Since we're new to this, I actually didn't know what was happening to her and had to, you know, feverishly research what was going on. But sure enough, this appears to be a molt. So she's spending um, all of her time pretty much in the coop and I don't feel like she's eating or drinking much. So I'm, I'm having to encourage that. There you can see those new feathers coming in. So that makes me think that she's going to be okay. Um, but I feel like she's probably not as warm right now as she could be missing all of those feathers. Um, so I just am taking her out and putting her in front of the water and, um, you know, really kind of forcing her to, to drink there. And she looks like she was thirsty. So, and then, you know, providing her with some of those mealworms and, you know, she really likes those and giving her a little bit of protein, at least while she's out here, but she doesn't last too long outside. Over here, you can see where the snow is. That's the part of our run that's not covered. Um, this part of the run is covered with a, a tarp. I actually did that initially to give them shade in the summer. Um, but now that it's there, I'm really glad that we did that so that in the winter, you know, they don't have so many um, elements on them. As far as eggs go, they are still laying. It's definitely slowed down, um, but they're laying, you know, one or two eggs a day. Uh, but I have to get them quick because usually we just collect eggs once a day, not every time I go to the coop. Well, we were doing that and they were freezing. Um, so here's a, a frozen egg that we found that was busted open and this is all that was left. So I'm assuming they started messing with it and I don't know if they ate part of it. I mean, I guess, um, but that's not good. I don't want them to get a taste for eggs. So we're collecting every time we go out. All in all, we're making it. Uh, I definitely have some new chicken mom guilt this winter, um, but the sun's out today. Temperatures are gonna get a little warmer over the next few days. Typical Missouri, it's gonna be like 50 degrees next week. Um, so they'll get a reprieve, but we're making it and um, I hope everybody else is too this winter. Thanks for watching.